Hello everyone, this is your friend Rakesh. Today's tutorial is going to be slightly different. Why? Because we are going to learn a different way of syncing. Here on my screen, I have two slices. One coming from the calendar table. If you see here, I am using calendar table and the month frame. Another slicer. This slicer is coming from my orders table again the month column. If I take you to my relationship window, you will see that, that there is no relation between my calendar table and orders table. But if I try to select something from my calendar table slicer, it will also make a selection in my orders table. If you see this, April is also selected. If I select January, it selects my January here. If I do multi-select, it works with multi-select. January and the server. If I clear the slicer, it also gets clear. So it's a different way of sending. So this advanced sync slicer. By using this way, I do not need to create any tags. I do not need to create any relationship. It's working without any relationship and tag. Let me show you how to do this. I'll add a slicer. In the, for this slicer, I am going to use air. Let me take air over here. Let's take drop down. I'll take the formatting from my this slicer, paste it on this. Let's remove this. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Let's remove this slicer. Then this one again. Let me drag it here. So this slicer is coming from my calendar table. Let's go to formatting. Let's change the name from calendar table. I'll copy this, paste right to this. And for this slicer, I am going to take here from my orders table. Okay. And let's call it here from orders table. Now, if I try to filter any item from my calendar table slicer, it does not filter. It does. It is not in sync with the another slicer that is come, coming from orders table. So how to sync it, right? For that, select your slicer, then go to view, then go to sync slicer, and bottom you will see advanced options. Open that and give it a name make it a group right so you can give any name so for example i take here so the name that you will input here the same that will become the name of your group and now select your another slicer and give the same name that you are given in the in the first slicer so now both the slicer are in sync if i select one slicer it selects my another slicer also so both slicer are in sync. So they are going to work the same. With this, we are able to solve the problem. And in next tutorial, I'm going to show you the use case of this advancing slicer with advanced RLS. Stay tuned with this channel. Thanks for joining me. Have a nice day.